Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my home. My name is Becky. I'm so excited that you're here today. Well, today is a beautiful Saturday morning. I am just hanging out at, around my house. I have some few things that I need to get done. I thought maybe you guys would like to hang out with me for a couple of hours and just spend a little time. I've got to, I've got some real life adulting stuff that I have to do. <laughs> Every time I try to film this, the saw goes off. David's in the garage. Um, I don't even know what he's doing, but I'm sorry. I, I don't know if you can hear that one or not, but it is, I've had to restart this video about five times. I'm not going to do it again, but what was I saying? I have some real life adulting things that I need to do, like sweep the floors, fold clothes, make the bed, take out the trash, things like that. But that's not my niche here on YouTube, so I'm not going to focus on that, but I do need to make sure that those things get done. One of the things I thought we could do together that I might I thought might be fun is put together the kids Easter baskets. Now, I know all over YouTube you'll see Easter baskets being put together for small kids. Well, mine are for grown adult children, so maybe that's something that you guys might be interested in seeing and getting some ideas on what to give your grandchildren or children that are no longer little. And Easter baskets do tend to get a little more difficult when you can't put these little cute little toys and things in there like like you used to. I have not made an Easter basket for them in quite a while. I forgot, number one, how much fun it was, and number two, how expensive it is. It has added up quickly um, with just a little dollar here, two dollar here. It, it adds up. So, um, we're gonna do that. I've got some artificial flowers that I wanna put outside on my porch in the yard for just another touch of color out there. I don't have um, real flowers to put out there. I just thought I'd put some artificial ones out there for just the time being for Easter. And um, I did get up this morning and I did go to the thrift store, but I did not buy anything. I, if you want, I may put the um, footage in there about of, of what I saw, but it's the, <laughs> you know, I told you in an old video that these local thrift stores have sucked the fun out of going to them by, by their prices. And I want you to pay attention to the prices so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I know a lot of you are very, um, I guess what's the word? I know a lot of you defend the Habitat for Humanity very passionately and I am with you. I, I think it's a wonderful organization and they do great things. Um, I actually have a patient who they're going to be building a home for him and I'm all for it. That's why I shop there. That's why I continue to go there. I just have to leave so many things behind when I go because of the price. And it's just sad that, you know, you see these things. I see these things sitting there that I would love to have and love to take home, but I just can't pay the prices for them. But anyway, I may show you the footage of that, but right now I need to get some things done around the house. I need to make the bed, so let's do that. All right, I'm not gonna make you watch me make the bed, but I am gonna show you before and after. We've got lots of clothes to fold, so this is before, during, and after. You got two jobs here. I need to empty the dishwasher and I need to take out the trash. So this is before and we have the after. I have done four adulting jobs and I deserve a treat. So I'm gonna take a little break from housework that I do not enjoy and I'm gonna do something fun that I do enjoy. So let me, tell, let me show you what's behind me. This is what we're gonna do for a little quick little spring project. I have all of these scrap flowers that were used for old projects. These, for example, I think were used for a baby shower or a gender reveal centerpiece. I'm not sure, but I've got purple, pink, blue, all the colors of spring here. So I thought what I would do is I would pull a Juanita. Now, if you don't know what a Juanita is, let me tell you. A Juanita is, that was my mother, and she would get artificial flowers, and she would stick in her yard <laughs> to decorate with. Um, at one point in time, she had the most beautiful yard, and she would have real flowers blooming beautifully, 
and it just got to be too much work for her so she decided that it would be pretty to put the artificial flowers out there and at the time I thought it was I, I kind of picked on her a little bit I was like mama that is so tacky why are you doing that and now I understand I get it and I'm gonna do it myself so I'm gonna Juanita my yard up a little bit with these artificial flowers so let me show you where they're gonna go okay let's get started I've got this little planter here Lily planted a I don't know what kind of plant this is um, but I'm hoping it'll come back right now it's just it's not looking too good but I don't think sticking the flowers in here will hurt it um, the dogs in the background those poor dogs they bark all the time I don't know how they don't have sore throats <laughs> but you're gonna hear them you're gonna hear cars driving by you're gonna hear all the sounds so we're just gonna stick these in here I thought I'd use these little hydrangeas because I think they're so cute and yeah I don't think it's bothering that little plant in there at all And from a distance, you will not be able to tell. That's what my mom would always say. You can't tell when you're driving by. Well, no. <laughs> no, you can't. How do I argue with that? All right. And do I put anything else in there? I got this little thing here I could stick in there. I don't, have, I don't think I have another one though. Well, how about this? out of there. I think it looks good just by itself. Okay. Do I have any more of those? Yes, I have one more. I'll put that one there. Okay. That's cute, isn't it? <laughs> Juanita would be proud. Okay, let me move to the next spot. These other two pots are something that I planted a few years ago. They just, they're still living. They're still trying to live. Um, but I don't quite know what they are, but they're very pretty. So what I thought I would do is put like maybe, I think I noticed that it looks a little more natural if you don't mix the colors together because it looks like a potted plant, um, you know, just a natural plant. So I think I'm just going to do like one pink one here and maybe purple over here. This is the plan. So it kind of looks like I took a plant and stuck in here. And then even if I do put a purple one here, at least I can group the group them separately so it looks like I purposefully did it, you know. So we'll put some purple here. There we go. That's good. And then let's see. Should we put some pink here too, maybe? No? Maybe pink right here? Up close, these don't all match, but they do, I mean, they're okay. So it looks like a potted plant. And it's hard for me to see what I'm doing right now because I'm on over here, but I'm gonna back up and see what it looks like. So here's the final product on how it all looks. I found this spiky, I don't even know. I, it's just a spiky greenery thing. And I stuck that in there and it looks so good. And I switched the blue and the pink because I felt like the blue and the purple just went better together and then I push these down just a little bit closer to the bottom of the pot and it just it looks so much better like that so let me back up just a little bit let me fix my little flag and let you see the whole thing how pretty everything is it's such a beautiful day the birds are chirping it's just so cute that little pink Easter bunny I stuck it up there <laughs> I forgot about it that's Salem's bunny let me show you my tree um, this Bradford pear tree is starting to bloom. It's late blooming, 
always, I don't know why, but it always blooms a little late. My neighbor's tree has already bloomed and the flowers have fallen off already, but mine is just starting. Soon there'll be lots of green leaves on here and it's gonna be so pretty, but I wanted you to see all the eggs with the flowers. Now this tree is very high in pollen, so while it's blooming like this, although it's so beautiful, it does give David a hard time um, with his allergies and all that little I keep looking at this little smiling face egg these eggs have faces on them <laughs> and they're they're making me laugh I had to come inside for a minute because I have to tell you something I'm sorry I'm trying not to cry every now and then my mom will sneak a little hello in for me and she all she only does it when I'm outside and because that was her special place my special place is in the house decorating in the house and stuff like that that wasn't her thing her thing was outside in the garden in the yard planting flowers things like that she gave me that Bradford pear tree she helped me plant it she surprised me with it with it when we bought the house so I just think it's funny that I was talking about her and putting those flowers out there and um this is the month that she passed away and when i walked outside sitting up in that bradford pear tree was the most beautiful red cardinal now i could not get my camera out fast enough to film it it she he's long gone now but i don't know how you feel about that but i you know you always hear that um cardinals are a visit from your loved ones so that it just made me think about her. So whether the Cardinal was a visit from her or not, the sweet memories and the, I had to stop and think about her. That was a visit. That was a, to me, her saying hello. I'll never forget. There was a mother's day. I was sitting outside and on the porch and I was thinking about her. I was just, you know, just having some good memories, and I, I, I'm not kidding you guys. There are no red rose bushes anywhere, not in my yard, not in my neighbor's yards. There, there was no red rose bushes. I had two white ones and two yellow ones. No, one white one and two yellow ones, but I did not have any red ones, and they weren't even blooming. And I had a red rose petal float down and land right at my feet. And I'm telling you, that was my mom <laughs> just saying hello. She'll do that every now and then. She'll come say hello and, and visit with me for a minute. But I'm probably gonna get a lot of backlash for putting those flowers out there. But I, I mean, I just don't see the point in going out and buying flowers that I am absolutely going to kill because I have a black thumb and those flowers were free. They were in my shed, and I think they look good, especially when I added that little spiky thing. I think they look really good. I think now I want to start putting together the kids' Easter basket. All right, so I had to go out and buy the girls an Easter basket because they didn't have one. It's been a hot minute since they've been Easter egg hunting. Although, I will say, in 2020, when we were quarantined, um, the girls, of course, were here and able to, we were able to be together, but the big, the family, the big family gatherings, we were not able to do. So I put together an egg hunt just for them. And I had, I had the egg, uh oh, I dropped it. <laughs> I had the eggs um, filled with money. I mean, whether it be a dollar, two dollars, uh, five dollars, I had quarters in there. I had coupons um, for, oh gosh, what was the, I don't even know what the coupons were for. I just remember finding them. Um, oh, like a free Frosty at Wendy's or something like that. I had um, little notes in there. Like I had one, I'll have to include a picture in here if I can find the pictures. But like I had one that I took melted chocolate and put all over there. And it was something along the lines of the Easter bunny pooped here or something like that. It was really funny. But if I can remember, I will put little pictures here of some of the notes that were inside the eggs. So even though each one wasn't a prize or money, they had something funny 
and it was a lot of fun when they got ready to open their their eggs so we had a good time three that coupons and twenty two dollars fifteen cents wow twenty two dollars fifteen many cents up? and three coupons cool and then whatever change summer just gave me there's at least a dollar in it money in here for you get a job freeloader <laughs> This one says, this egg just came fresh out the rabbit's butthole. We <laughs> <laughs> got a dime. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> this is a free small pizza. It's store only from Papa John's. It's a coupon. There's a coupon for a Subway. Um, it's right up your alley, Lily. Free appetizer with purchase of two adult entrees. I liked, oh, I licked this egg. <laughs> This egg hunt is equivalent to your inheritance. <laughs> you really suck, you know that? <laughs> These are so... <laughs> you realize that you're over 20 and you're hunting eggs? Ha <laughs> 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 you suck. Uh, I got five bucks. Oh man, Lily must got all the eggs with the money. I got ten. I can't believe you fell for this. <laughs> you got a dollar. Thanks. Got a quarter. Oh. Ew. She got a quarter. <laughs> this is what happens when there is a little, when there is a toilet paper shortage. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I found five dollars. <laughs> I got some pennies. Hold your, hold your five dollars up, Summer. <laughs> Chilies. Five dollars off purchase of 30 or more. Your sister is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and another dollar. <laughs> Too funny. I love it. That was the last time I think they've actually themselves had an egg hunt since they were little girls because we always have the hunts for the kids here. They're the ones hiding the eggs. Let me pick up a basket. So I got two of everything. I got two... Gra uh, bags of grass. Now these smell, smell good. They came from Dollar General and they were $2 a bag. So we're going to put those in first. And then I went to, I went to Ross, I went to T Marshall's, and I went to Burke's and got some girly stuff. I got shampoo and conditioner, two of each of these don't ask me what kind of brand this is i don't know what i was thinking was small i didn't want big large things of shampoo we're going to be going on vacation in july so these will be perfect for perfect for them to pack to take on vacation so i got two of those i got two of these hairsprays and of course i'm always thinking about the colors and make and making everything match so you can kind of see how pretty everything is going to be together. And then I got two um, dry shampoos, which are small also. Because, and I purposefully got small baskets so that I wouldn't go really overboard, but I still kind of went overboard. So I got these acne patches that are super cute. Look, they're little daisies. So the idea is for them to cover, if they have a little blemish to pop up, they just cover it with those patches and those were only four dollars i got two packs of the lip balms that match our colors let me turn this light on see if it helps any is that any better not really all right i got two packs of these hair ties that they like they're real soft they don't pull their hair they like those a lot i got two packs of these face wipes here the, it's Jessica Simpson. Um, one is matcha, one is green tea. I don't know what they smell like because you can't smell them, but they're pretty. I got, what else did I get? That's all I got from those stores. Then I went to the Dollar Tree today and I got a couple of things. I saw these at the checkout line and they're just little prayer cards. I got two of those. So $1.25, there's 20 prayer and scripture cards in there for them to have like a, maybe a daily affirmation type thing. I got them each a pack of socks. And then I got them each a little set of bunny glasses. Now, 
these are silly, but they'll be cute for a picture. And we are all about taking a picture around here. So I'm probably gonna take these off the cardboard backing and just tuck those in to save room. Then I went to Walmart and I got some candy. So I got two of each for them of those. Of course, those are the Reese's eggs. I got four of these for summer. This is her favorite candy bar. Um, because they were only 50 cent, they were cheaper than buying the king size. And then I got this king size bar for little Lily. Now, my kids don't eat a lot of candy, so I, I got them a little bit of chocolate, but that's stuff I know they're gonna eat, so it's not gonna be wasteful. I also picked up these little pins for them. They're really, they, I think these will be like nostalgic for them for when they were kids and um, they smell good and you can kind of change the color of the pen. So just something fun and nostalgic. And then the last thing I got for their baskets, I went to the doll, no, I went to Hobby Lobby and I got them two little crafts to do. So I got this one for summer and it's a little punch kit. These were 40% off. And I got this one for Lily, that's an embroidery kit. Lily knows how to embroider, so that's why I picked that one out for her. And then these little rainbows, these were like a dollar and 15 cent with a discount. And you just wrap the thread around the rainbow and just make a little craft. And then I picked these up. These were uh, $3.49 with 40% off. They're just face masks, so I got that. All right, so I'm gonna put their baskets together real quick and then we'll move on to the next basket. I don't know if you wanna watch me put these baskets together or not. I might do a little bit and then cut it off, but that's quite a bit of grass for these baskets. They were $2, so I expected there to be a little bit more. The ones that were only marked a dollar were um, kind of skimpy. There weren't a lot in there at all. All right, so that's the perfect amount for these, for these baskets. And I just like the blue and the pink together. Let me take this off. All right, now, biggest things first, I guess would be the shampoo and the hairspray. Put those in. The shampoo and the conditioner is what I got. And I should take this price tags off, huh? And then the, let's see, what is this called? Um, dry shampoo. Okay, and then these right here, I probably should put down here because they're kind of big and bulky. There. They kind of sank down a little bit when I put, put that heavy stuff in there. We'll put the prayer cards here. I might have to come in with a little bit of newspaper to make it stick up a little bit. So we're gonna say this one's Lily's. Call this one hers and put the craft kit right there. Okay, and then this one will be Summer's. So far, so good. Everything's fitting. I need to put these craft kits in here too. So we'll just tuck those in behind. Okay. And blemish patches. there. Let's at least hide the price tag here. Okay. And masks can go right here. I want the little eggs to be able to be seen. Right there. And then cute little pins can go back here. I don't care how old your kids are. Everybody's a sucker for something of the nostalgia. So, why I wanted to make sure that we had a little something fun in there. These can just kind of lay on top, I guess. And then 
Let's get the candy in there. This one was Lily, so this one was Summers. This is where this is going. Let me take this price tag off. And then two of these. And then Lily gets this one. And two of these. Okay. And then the only thing we have left are our little glasses. There. I'm going to take these glasses off of the cardboard here. I'm going to chuck them in. Okay. And then the only thing left are the little chicky socks. And they will be all done. Maybe we can hang them out the side like this. What do you think? How's that look? Okay. All right. So there's the two girls' baskets. I don't think I like them hanging out the side like that. I'm going to chuck those in. Okay. All right. All done. Now let's move on to the next one. Here's a closer view, just in case you couldn't see everything from the tripod. They're going to be excited to have something to open. They've not, like I said, they've not gotten an Easter basket in quite a while. And then I've got this clear cellophane that we're going to wrap each basket with and put a bow at the top. We'll do that in a little bit. The next kid's basket that we have is Tanner. Now, Tanner's basket is not quite as big as Summer's and Lily's. And again, I tried to keep it small so that I would not go overboard because honestly, if we're being truthful, Tanner is a lot of fun to buy for. He likes the he likes the body washes and the smell goods and all that. He really likes those types of things. He enjoys them, and he's fun to buy for because you know they make all these smell good scents and products for men that a lot of men just kind of pass over and they go for just the plain old right guards. You know, well he likes the fun stuff and he's a lot of fun to buy for. And I could very easily have spent a couple hundred dollars on an Easter basket for him. So I purposefully got a small Easter basket. I got this from the Dollar Tree um, just because I like the green. And I got some yellow grass to put in the bottom of it. We're gonna do that. We're just gonna make his now if that's okay because his isn't quite as big as Summer's and Lily's was. So let me push you down just a little bit. So we're gonna put the yellow grass in the green basket. And it's nice and shiny. It's shiny. Okay, so here's the beginnings of his basket. Now, the first thing I got Tanner was some body wash, Harry's body wash. It smells really good. Um, I couldn't find anything at TJ, not TJ Maxx, Marshalls and Burks like I did the girls. So I went to Walmart to get this. And it's really not very expensive. I think this was like $5.97, if I'm not mistaken. And then I got him the deodorant with this, not the same scent, but they both smell really good. So we're going to put that in there. And then I got him a pack of dude wipes, which if you don't know what dude wipes are, <laughs> they're just adult baby wipes. So when you need a little extra cleanup, that's what you use. <laughs> We use them proudly in our home, okay? So, I got him some dude wipes. He'll like that. And I got him this little loofah to go with his body wash. And I got it in a masculine color, which is gray. Now, we, now what we may do is just tie it here on the side so it doesn't take up our room. But we'll see. We'll see how everything fits. And then I got him a t-shirt. Now, does this t-shirt look familiar? I got, we have matching t-shirts. <laughs> it says, believe in yourself, even if no one else does. Now, I love this shirt. I think it's awesome. I think Tanner's going to like it too. Um, when we go to the mountains, um, 
we, I, I just, we love Sasquatch. They have lots of Sasquatch paraphernalia up there. I even have some Sasquatch earrings. So he has a matching t-shirt that whether he likes it or not, he will be wearing along with me. So we're gonna tuck that in there. <laughs> I think he'll be so excited. And then the rest of this is just candy. So I got him some M&Ms. I got him some Reese's. I got him some Airheads and some Mentos Sour Gum. Oh, I did get him two toys. So, like I said, I don't care how old these kids are, they're still kids and they like fun little things to open for, you know, Easter and in their stockings. So I always try to get them a little something fun. So I got him a little Ushi. And if you don't know what a Ushi is, it's just like a little mini Funko Pop. You just don't know what you're gonna get. It's a surprise inside. And then I got him a Minecraft Build It which is just, I guess, like a cardboard Minecraft um, puzzle. So I got those from Walmart and we're just gonna tuck everything in here and fill his basket to the brim with lots of goodies. And I think he'll be excited. So the only thing that does not fit is his loofah. So we'll probably just take something and tie it to the side there. So when I get ready to wrap his basket with cellophane, um, I'll do that at the same time. But there is Tanner's Easter basket. I'll show you a close up. All right, here's the close up of his little Easter basket. He'll be excited. All right, so let's move on to our last girl, which is Daisy. Now, Daisy's gonna get this cute little pink bucket from Dollar Tree, and I cut out her name with my Cricut, so she's going to get her name put on her little bucket. So maybe next year, we'll just reuse the same little little thing. I should have done this off of camera, but I did not. I just want to make you all sit there and wait in anticipation while I struggle. <laughs> so Daisy's uh, Easter basket is not complete because I have ordered something for her on Amazon and I'm going to insert a picture right here of what I bought for her. And hopefully it'll fit inside this bucket and it'll be here, I think Monday. So we're gonna put her name on here. And even if she gets a hold of her Easter basket, she can't hurt it because it's plastic. She can't chew on it. Well, she could, I guess, if we allowed her to, but she shouldn't be chewing on it. Okay, so there's Daisy's little Easter basket. Now, she gets yellow grass. I got the dollar grass for her because I didn't think I needed a lot. And that goes in there. And the only thing I have so far for Daisy is a pack of treats. I got salmon and sweet potato jerky treats for her. These came from Marshall's for $5. And I got those treats. And then I got this sweet little bunny from Burks, and it says, <laughs> and she's gonna love this. So um, I got her one for Christmas, and she we call it her baby. Let me fix this a little bit. We call it her baby. So it is an annoying little, what kind of animal is it? It's a, I don't even know what kind of animal it is. It's a sloth or something like that. Well, if you say, Daisy, where's your baby? She'll go hunt that one particular toy down and it just, she just squeezes it, squeezes it. It drives Lily crazy, but that's her baby and she's gonna get a new baby this year. So when her bandana and her ears come in, that'll get added to her bucket, but can't just can't do that quite yet. I know the ears will not stay on her very long, but if I can just get a picture with her holding that carrot in her mouth, I'll be happy. And that was only $10, by the way, on Amazon. So I figure, what the heck, go ahead and order it for her. So I'm done with the Easter baskets. I do have to wrap them up in cellophane. I'm not gonna make you watch all that. But I'm gonna go ahead and close up those back there of the adult children. Everybody's basket, with the exception of Daisy, has been wrapped up and is under the Easter tree. And we'll finish Daisy, hopefully Monday. That's all done. Now I've got to do another big girl job, an adult job. So I need to sweep the floors. 
So I figured since I just did two fun things, I need to do at least one unfun thing. So I'm gonna try to get the floor swept and vacuumed. While I'm doing that, you guys can watch the footage from today at the thrift store. After that's done, then I might start cooking dinner. I took a pack of chicken out, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. I've got to look through my refrigerator and my pantry and see exactly what I have to cook. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just know I had a pack of chicken. So watch the footage from the thrift store. I'm going to let my phone charge up a little bit too. And then I will do my due diligence and get the floor swept. And I'll be back to talk to you in just a few minutes. Now these dishes were purely for decorative purposes. I just thought they were beautiful. I mean, can you imagine the four of these floral dishes together placed all together in a, like on a wall with maybe some wicker baskets around it? I thought it would be, it looks so bohemian and would be so pretty. I left them for somebody else. They were pretty affordable, but it just, I don't have anywhere to put them. I thought these dishes were really pretty. They were $20 a piece. There were two of them and um, just too high. These now, okay, so the vases are special. This small one is made in Peru. I did not pick up the big one. I'm assuming it is too. They're just, they're just marked a little high in my opinion. Somebody will appreciate them and pay the price and have them in their home. They are more of a high-end piece, so, you know, I hope they sell them. I really do. Now, I've been wanting the, this cream and sugar for so long, but it's just been sitting there because I'm not going to pay that price for it. And that little dish was made in Austria, $10, <laughs> and it was like uh, the size of my hand. And I really like this, but I just don't have anywhere to put it right now, so I left it for somebody else to, to find. And, and these glasses were actually pretty affordable. They were $2 each. They were the most beautiful brown amber color, but I just don't have the need for them. I've got so many glasses as it is. Plus, they there wasn't like a full set of six. Had there been a full set of six, I might have considered getting them, but I just don't want a broken set. I really like this plate here. It was only a dollar. I probably should have got it. I just did not want to stand in the long, long line to pay for it. I mean, the line, they were busy today. And then I just thought this dresser was pretty. It was $150. And then this dresser is broken, and I want you to see how much they're asking for it. Yes, that is $300. Now, it was solid wood, and David could have fixed it, but I just, $300, my goodness. And I would have bought that had the line not been so long, and I would have put it in my little Easter display because it was only $4. <laughs> it's kind of ragtag, but that's okay. Um, I, I still liked it, but I just was not going to stand in that line. Now, this is a different thrift store. Their prices were much better. This set was $5, cream and sugar. And these pink depression glass dishes would have been beautiful on my Valentine's Day table. There were, it was $10. There was a set of four of all three size plates. And I thought that was a great price. I just decided against it today. I guess I was just feeling a little thrifty today. Look at me being an adult. I got the floor swept. I got the bathrooms cleaned up, all the toilets cleaned, big bathtub scrubbed out, sink scrubbed out, somewhat. I'm getting ready to cook, so I didn't go too crazy. I'm doing all kinds of big girl things. Um, before we start cooking, I want to show you a piece of friend mail that I got, and it's so pretty. I can't wait for you to see it. So, the person who sent me this beautiful plate, I don't know that if she wants me to mention her name or not, so I'm not going to, but I love this plate. It matches everything in my house. It is the colors of my soul. Not only that, but it's got daisies on it and, and or sunflowers. I'm not sure, but I've got a couple different places that I was thinking about putting it. Um, whenever I get my Easter stuff down, I was thinking that I could put it back there in front of that wicker round piece and in front of the lamp. And I think it would look really good back there. 
and it would match perfectly with my yellow and my kitchen. It'll match perfectly there. The other place I was thinking is my little shelf here that I have all of my amber glass. I was thinking maybe in place of that sunflower plate, and I think that would match really well there. And I can put my sunflower flower plate over here with my other collection. So it's not like it would just be packed away. I would have a place to put it, but I could put it there. Would look perfect. I think it would match pretty much any place in my home <laughs> because it just matches everything. It's just my complete aesthetic. Um, one other place I was thinking, but I don't know because it would kind of be hidden, would be like an underplate for that little area there. But I think that would be misusing a beautiful dish. So I don't think I'm going to put it there, but it would look nice there. I don't know. I've got lots of places I can put it. I can move it right here in the place of that dark medallion there. I'm gonna find a place to put it and I'll show you in just a little while. For right now, I'm gonna set it right there until I can find a plate holder for it. But thank you so much, my friend. I really love it. It matches my house so perfectly. And I appreciate you thinking of me and taking the time to send that to me, not once, but twice. <laughs> We had some shipping problems, and thank you for the beautiful card as well. Happy Easter to you, too. So I set the dish up right here for now. It looks really pretty there, but in all honesty, I think it's going to have the most impact in the kitchen. So once my Easter stuff comes down, I'll probably move it over in that corner that we talked about. But for now, it looks pretty, and we're able to use it for you know, for the time being. So let's move. Let's see. What are we doing next? I think we need to start thinking about dinner. And I just replaced one of these dishes down here. This dish right here was up here and I just replaced it for now. It looks pretty there. Okay, everything has a place now and we're good. All right, so I think I have a plan for dinner. I went through my cabinets in my refrigerator and I found a few things to throw together to make a meal. So I had some chicken tenders that I had taken out of the freezer to thaw out. I went through my cabinet and I found some shake and bake Parmesan crusted coating mix. So I thought I would coat the chicken, fry it up and have that as my meat. So I also found some zucchini and some peppers. I had only used half for another meal, so I'd like to use those before they go bad. And I thought I'd cut up some vegetables and then make either, I got fettuccine, a half a box, and then I've got a half a box of rotini. So we'll see how much, how far it goes, but I've got two options for noodles. So essentially what I'm making is a fettuccine alfredo with a fried chicken on top. Yes. So let me get started on that. Or what I'll do is I'll just give you a, hold on, let me see. Before and after. Here is a close up of everything. So we've got our fettuccine Alfredo here. And I just put a little black, cracked black pepper on top. And then I've got my vegetables. The only thing I put in here was salt, pepper, and a little bit of soy sauce, and then just let them steam up. And then here is our fried chicken. So I have my little plate here fixed, and I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy my meal. And I think that's, that's gonna be it. I just need to tell you guys goodbye. All right, everybody, that's all that I have for you for today. What a beautiful Saturday it has been. I am so thankful for such a beautiful day to be able to be home and to spend this day with you. I got a little message from my mom today, which was so sweet. I got to enjoy the beautiful weather, the sunshine, and, and you know, I complain about doing housework, but the the Lord gave me this house. He gave me these floors to sweep. He gave me that bed to make. And I'm going to do it all day, every day with a smile on my face and not complain about it. I'm just so grateful for all the blessings that I have in my life, including you guys. Thank you so much for spending your day with me, taking a few minutes of your precious time to hang out with me. It does mean so much to me, and, it, and I just can't thank you enough. But until next time, I love you all, and I'll see you later. Bye.